Okay, so let's say you're given a problem that involves combustion. Well, here's the combustion equation. For any generic hydrocarbon, it reacts with oxygen to create CO2 and water. And let's say you're given a mass CO2 and a mass water, and you're also given some mass of the unknown. How do you solve this problem? Well, because of mass conservation, the mass of C here must be the mass of C here. There's no other source of C. For the same reason, the mass of H here must be the mass of H on this side. So, if you can find the mass of C here, and you can find the mass of H here, then you can use subtraction to find the mass of O, because the mass total will be the mass O plus mass C plus mass H. Hopefully that makes sense. My writing is not very good right now. So anyways, total mass is the mass of O plus the mass of C plus the mass of H. If you have the mass of C, you have the mass of H, you can find the mass of O. Okay, now that you have the mass of those three things, we can then go for mass to moles. That's an M there. Mass to moles. You've all had great practice doing that. So we can find mole C, we can find mole O, and we can find mole H. Once you have these three moles, moles C, moles O, and moles H, you can find a mole ratio, and that'll let you find the X, Y, and Z in the unknown. It's just like an empirical formula problem. You have the moles of each of those compounds. You can convert that to moles, to a mole ratio of the unknown. Hooray! We're done. Here's a happy face. Yay. Ah! The sad face.